fire. Oh my god. Where? What? Outside? Oh, I, I went to the toilet. <laughs> my first thought was to go to the toilet. Hello, my friends, and welcome back to the Nightmare Legacy Challenge. Now, today is actually a pretty big day for two reasons. Number one, Pepper is pregnant, and I think she's going to give birth today, so we're gonna have the next generation born. Oh my god, I'm missing work? Ah, by a lot. Go, go, go. <laughs> go to work, please. Oh my, how did I manage that? How did I manage that? How did I manage that? Oh, fail. Anyway, the second reason today is a big day is that my little brother is graduating high school the day that I'm posting this. So if you want to leave some congratulations in the comments, I'll show it to him later. So at least one good thing is gonna happen today. <laughs> Maybe not in The Sims, but in real life, at least one positive thing will happen. You know, this building is a little bit cute on Love Day. It is kind of overwhelming and scary. Like all of these flags are a bit much, but I love these little hearts. Those are nice. Anyway, today I need to do some work with Tommy because I believe it is time for her to do some gardening for us. I know she doesn't want to. I know she wants out of the family. We did have a, a discussion about possibly getting a divorce last week, which is upsetting because we only got married like two weeks ago, <laughs> but she was literally running away. We had a whole runaway bride thing, and I asked you all in the comments what you thought about that, and most people were like, mm, maybe she should leave. <laughs> it seems like she's not interested in being involved in this mess, and you know what? Fair enough. Fair enough. I understand. I'm, I'm disappointed, but I understand. I will try and use her like a little bit though. I guess it's possible that we- oh my god, is she being attacked by bees? Wow. <laughs> no wonder she doesn't want to be involved. Anyway, I need her to make ambrosia. I need someone to be good at gardening, and I actually do have a slight alternative plan. Oh my god. All these things need evolved. It's because the bees are making them good quality, but that's amazing. Are you seeing that? Wow. It's literally all of them. I'm so impressed. Okay, I'm gonna apply the mite treatment to these two. What was I saying? I don't remember. Either way, I'm gonna need Tommy, and unfortunately, she does not want or need me. So that's the main concern at the moment. While I wait for Pepper to get home from work, I might go on like a little date with Emily. We had a whole discussion about who my little sister should date last time too, and there was a lot of fond comments towards Emily Mims. So I believe she is the target. I probably shouldn't call her a target. I feel like that sounds bad, but that is kind of what it feels like. I feel like I am targeting her to force her to be in my nightmare family. Throw Love Day confetti, maybe give a Love Day gift. Um, I have an amateur hour child violin. <laughs> Do you want that? Are you interested? Also, this guy, you're literally wearing- oh my god, that's Kenny. That's my cousin. He's got two watches on, one on each wrist. The way that Sims put on every single accessory. I don't understand this. Why are you wearing two watches, Kenny? Oh, you're embarrassed? Why? What is wrong with you? You have to like me. What are you wearing? Is that your work outfit or are you actually wearing that? I think it's her work outfit. Huh, <laughs> she does not look happy. I thought today was gonna go better than this. I really actually had high hopes for today, but everybody hates me all the time and it's like 11 p.m. Oh, promoted to mixologist and I was two hours late and you still got promoted? Really? I mean, okay, that's fine. Like, I, I accept, but really? Oh, geez. Everyone's having a rough time. The house is a mess. Are you seeing this? Look at all the cat puke everywhere. Just go to sleep. I can't take it. I actually can't take it. <laughs> Just go to sleep. Bring Penelope back home. You can go to sleep too. Anna, you can go to sleep. We're gonna get a nice, peaceful evening. And I will deal with the re Oh my god, this is broken. Ah, it's expensive. <laughs> I'm gonna have to try and repair that tomorrow. Oh no. Did I get anything I can sell, like from my promotion? I got a sink. I like the sink that I have better, so we can sell that one for sure. I could probably sell Blake's yarn basket. I know that's bad. I'm sorry, because like Blake's dead, but I simply don't need it. We'll get loads of money tomorrow. As soon as Anna gets the stuff from her royalties will be fine. It's just that for now, I'm a little bit concerned. Oh, don't make me get rid of these sims. I'm sorry, but I cannot deal with the ghosts. I don't want to have to get rid of my little graves because I do like them, but the ghosts are so annoying. Don't start a fire, don't start a fire, don't start a fire, don't start a fire, don't start a fire. Okay. <laughs> It's close. I can't afford to replace it again. It's too expensive. Oh, you have a thing you can sell to the publisher. Oh, go do that now. Logan Chester and the Chester household has died. Logan got a little too angry and exploded. Oh my god. Well, good morning, Logan. Sai also died? Stuck a finger in a plug and electricity came out? How many people are gonna die this morning? Oh my. I'm actually getting worried. Nothing else? All right. Okay. We are also in our third trimester, so we'll give birth literally any second. This is very exciting because one, we're gonna be in the next generation 
generation of the family. And look at how far we have come, but two, I've got the plan for the next gen all figured out, thanks to the comments from last week, so. Oh no, oh you did it! Oh I just saw Tommy out of the corner of my eye repairing this and I got nervous, I was like please don't die from that. <laughs> Please don't die from that, but she made it. I'm impressed. Pepper, do you have work today? But not until 6 p.m. Okay, that's perfect. Let me talk you through this. To get the death flower for the ambrosia, there's a couple things we can do. Normally it's kind of annoying, but we might be able to do it with like some of the cottage living stuff. Oh my god, there's so much she has to clean. I actually feel bad. Fire! Oh my god. Where? What? Outside? Oh, I, I went to the toilet. <laughs> my first thought was to go to the toilet, but it was this. Oh wow, okay. So Sorry, did you see me? I was like, fire, where? And I came right here. It wasn't even, it was out here. So anyway, I was gonna say, we might be able to get the death flower from one of the packs. I might go out there now. I'm thinking the stall from Cottage Living and also the flower stand in Tartosa both might be good for this. We need to graft a pomegranate and an orchid together. So if we can get those, it would save us some time and effort with grafting. Otherwise you have to like graft a lily to a snapdragon and get an orchid and then, you know. But hopefully we can do it a little bit more easily than that. Opens at 9 a.m. Okay, come here. Run. <laughs> run, Pepper, run. We actually have to get a move on with this because if Tommy leaves us, we're doomed. So, aha, orchid. All right. Well, now if we can find a pomegranate, we're all set. And sometimes they sell them in, where am I going? Henford on Bagley. Sometimes like Agnes and them sell them at those little stands. Oh, I forgot that I didn't introduce why I'm doing this. If you haven't seen the past episodes, I'm trying to bring my dead mom back to life. She died in a fire. It was kind of traumatic and I, I want to bring her back to life. So <laughs> I'm trying to make ambrosia so I can get her back. It makes very little sense, but that is the plan. Hello, Agnes. I'm here to see if you've got any pomegranates. Probably expensive if they do have them. Pomegranate, pomegranate, pomegranate. We have loads of things. <sighs> No pomegranate. Okay, well, anything else fun? <laughs> anything else I might want? Jam? Custard? I'm hungry in real life. Should I do a little flirty introduction on Agnes just to see what happens? Well, she didn't even come hit me. Why well, tried to flirt? What's your problem, Agnes? Oh, you don't want to hit a pregnant woman? <laughs> you don't want to slap a pregnant lady with your purse? Is that what you're trying to say? Come on. Oh, she will. Oh my God. She's hitting a pregnant woman with her purse. Agnes. Wow. I know I just tested her, but wow. I I'm heavily pregnant, look at me. You should be ashamed of yourself, lady. Here, do it again. <laughs> Do it again, Agnes. Give me again. I want a screenshot. Are you trying to get fresh with me, young woman? Take that cheek somewhere else. Get me. Get me. Why won't she hit me? Oh my god, she's gonna do it. I'm serious. You should be ashamed of yourself. I'm pregnant. Well, I can't very well make this the title of the video, but we will know. <laughs> we will know what you did, Agnes. She's so funny. Anyway. Oh! Oh my god, sorry, sorry, I should go. <laughs> I should leave. Maybe I'll get some food while I'm here. Oh, that could be nice. Maybe I'll come order something. No, never mind. I need to max my cooking skills so I can bring my dead mom back to life. I should prioritize that instead. Sorry, false alarm. I'm in a bad mood still. Crumple bottomed. What's in that purse? Whatever it is, it hurt. You know, if I could get crumple bottomed, I wouldn't be mad. I won't lie. I, I would be excited. I would pay good money for her to hit me with her purse. And I'm not kidding. Not another fire. Are you kidding? Out here again? Well, don't just stand there. Put it out. What is wrong with you? Oh my god. <sighs> You didn't even finish the cake. I wanted to make a cake. There you go. Well, I guess it was smart of you to run outside. Maybe you had the right idea. Oh, I'm gonna pee my pants. Not a fire, please. Please not a fire. Please not a fire. Please not a fire. Please not. Oh my god. Oh, I went into labor. Sorry. <laughs> I saw the orange and I thought it was a fire, but it, I'm in labor. Okay. Have the baby. Let's do it. Oh, we're doing it here. Oh, home birth. I forgot I have a bassinet. Oh, well, Pepper's having a baby. Oh my god. This is Gen 7 about to be born. Come here. Hurry up. It's a girl. Okay, so I do have a name suggestion from the comments. The other day, Metalicious commented the name Blue could be cute, like the Bluebell Flower. And I loved that, especially because one of her moms is like super into gardening. And we could have like a plant themed house. She could be like a botanist or something. We could do like the flower decorating skill. I don't know. There's a lot of options for when she grows up, but I just, I loved that and I think it's perfect. So that that is my whole plan for the future gen is plants. <laughs> the whole plan for next gen is plants plants. It's kind of cute too because I feel like Blue is gonna take over the whole thing that Tommy really did not want to do. <laughs> like Tommy wants out, so at least we have Blue to help us. Also, I didn't finish my cake because I was too busy peeing and then giving birth, so maybe I'll go do that now. Oh, Tommy's home from work. Would you like to meet your child? Oh, Anna, come meet the baby. Oh my god, Anna, meet the baby. Oh my god. We never get to have grandparent time in this. This is so fun for me. Oh, there's a llama fair going on. Unfortunately, I'm not really interested. I, I probably shouldn't go back there. Um, <laughs> 
Agnes does not like me. I don't think she wants to see me there. I, I shouldn't show my face in Hedford on Bagley, at least not today. I'm gourmet cooking level six. That's pretty good. You wanna eat that piece of cake? You gave birth today, sweetie. Treat yourself. <laughs> <laughs> you deserve the world after that. Oh no. Oh right, I forgot the cat is sick. Okay, after I do this, I do have some treats. Where? Hello, pet care. I have this. Put it back in my inventory. Ew, don't puke on the couch. I've got wellness treats for you. There you go. Give vet treat wellness treat. Oh no, Pepper has work in an hour. Look at my needs. Okay, well the cat is fixed. <laughs> oh, I forgot. I'm sorry. I forgot. I totally forgot. Oops, 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 oops. Okay, go to sleep. Oh, she's not sleeping. Oh, I'm dead. I'm actually doomed. Maybe I should take some family leave. You know what? I don't usually do this. I probably should. Yeah, let's not go into work today. <laughs> Quick! Oh no, she's going! Oh my god. I think that means tomorrow she'll have family leave. Um, dare I cheat her need? She just gave birth. She can have some coffee or something, right? Like, that. I feel bad. Okay, and then I'm thinking we might try and go to the romance festival with Emily. In my dreams, I was hoping that we could marry Emily today at the romance festival. However, it does not seem to be going so well, so we'll have to see if we hit it off. But... I would like to get a move on with this relationship. Where is she? Hello? I don't even see her. She came with me, right? Emily will see the- Oh, there she is. Sorry. Try to cheer up. Oh no, did somebody die? Oh, do you think she knew one of those people that died this morning? Oh, well that really ruins my wedding plans, huh? <laughs> That really does put a damper on things. Oh no. Oh, why did my voice do that? That's weird. Throw petals. Gossip. Do you think any pomegranates are here? Oh no. Pomegranate's a tree. <laughs> there won't be any here. We probably could have gotten an orchid though. Okay, I'm not sure if she's gonna respond well to my flirting if she's feeling this sad, but I am gonna try. Oh, boring conversation. Oh, flirty, never mind. Okay, that was a roller coaster, is what that was. <laughs> boring conversation. Well, then what do you want? Okay, I'm gonna kiss her. You know, considering these two are kissing for the very first time, literally right now, and she thought I was boring about two seconds ago. I feel as though maybe us getting married today is a poor choice, but I'm probably gonna do it anyway. Suave kiss? Oh, are you embarrassed by me? Why? No! I wanted to get married. It's right here. So close, but so far. I have a small idea. I might just learn how to cook this puffer fish recipe really fast. Not for any particular reason. It's just that I want to be prepared, you know, just in case I ever need to poison anybody. So I'm just gonna learn this recipe real quick. Nothing to see here. Don't worry about it, okay? I'm not doing anything wrong. I'm just getting a little bit of prep done. And if I could find her again. Hello? Oh, she's right there. She was right behind me. How do I keep losing her? She's got blue hair. She doesn't like blend in. Throw petals. Throw petals. Throw petals. Why won't you do it? Throw them. Uncomfortable. Okay, have you tried not being uncomfortable? Happy? Oh, uncomfortable. God, why? I think she denied my suave kiss. Oh, I think she doesn't like me. What is with the women of this gen of the Bell family and, and their partners just not liking them? <laughs> Nobody's interested in them. Everybody's running away. I mean, look, they are valid in that. You are, you are totally and completely welcome to not want to date me. It's just like, look at me, you know? She's hot. Why wouldn't you? You know what it is? It's that by this point in the legacy, news has spread. Okay? People in town, they're starting to know. <laughs> they are aware of this legacy and, and these family members and what it's like to be involved with this family. And they're like, oh, you know what? You're cute. You're really nice. But I won't lie. I'm not, I'm not interested. Well, she gave me a rose. Awkward encounter again. Suggestive again. Okay. Sexy pose. I will be here all night if I have to. I kind of forgot that I had a baby at home. Oh my god, the festival ends in one hour. We're running out of time. Quick. Okay, ask me girlfriend. We're dating. Heat of the moment proposal. Come on. Oh, it worked. Oh my god. Quick. <laughs> Quick. Come get married before it goes away. It's gonna start despawning right now. Oh my god. Go, go, go. No! Wait, it's still working? All right, the wedding arch despawned, but we're still here. And we're still getting married. Is it even gonna work? It might have, I might have glitched it. I don't think they're actually exchanging vows or anything. Dang it! Oh, when I reset them, it keeps going. Oh, maybe it's like legit glitched. Because it's 4 a.m. Oh, it's 2.30. What the heck? Oh, yeah, it's glitched. Oh, no. Get out of here. Get out of here. Manage worlds. Leave. Leave. <laughs> Things are going wrong. Stay away. The time was like flashing between 2.30 and 4.30. I'm not interested in that. No, I'm not getting involved in glitches like that. No, thank you. Did she go to a full day of work or not. It looks like she would have gotten home a few minutes ago. I think she may have. Also, it's almost Blue's birthday. <laughs> Blue was born like a few hours ago, but because we're playing with the short lifespan, like the game is ready to be done with the baby. You know what? Speaking of the baby, I might come make a silly face cuddle. I love the name Blue. I used to know somebody with the middle name Blue and I thought it was 
so pretty. I like the idea of being able to give her like a lot of blue themed things too, like blue suburbans, blue bedrooms. Oh my god, blue suburbans. Is this the, the Bell family's blue suburban era? Oh, you've given me too much power. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm sorry. It's just, it's too easy. He's crying again. Why? You know what, Tommy, come change diaper and bottle feed this baby, please. You, my dear, need to pee. Don't pee your pants. Okay. <laughs> That was close. I would have been sad if she peed her pants. Okay, we're eating cake in the baby's room. Fair enough. I respect that. Tommy, you're going to work today. <laughs> I hate to say it, but you will be at work today. I might do some cooking this morning, and then later on, I might go see if they're selling pomegranates today. I feel like I've reached a point where I don't even care about Tommy. I don't need her. A fire? Where? Here now? Why do you keep doing it then? It's like you're doing it for fun. Oh, Tommy looks cute though. That is a nice outfit actually. Wow. You know, maybe if I don't replace it, it won't catch on fire again. Thoughts? Okay, I'm gonna go plant this in here really fast. <laughs> Come on. That's the orchid we're gonna need. Oh, I thought it disappeared. I got scared. We will need that later on. Did you even finish cooking or did you like drop it somewhere? I, I don't know where the food went. She was cooking and now it's gone. So I, I don't know. You know what? Forget it. I don't care. Let's hope that Agatha is working today and not Agnes because <laughs> Agnes is not my friend. Oh good, okay, it's Agatha. Agatha is here today. We're safe. I am looking for a pomegranate. Oh, it's like the same stuff as yesterday. Oh well, we'll get it eventually. Oh, do you think they have it at the grocery store? I didn't even think to check that. Oh my God, they do. Oh, well, problem solved. It's a fruit. That was so easy. We still have to graft the orchid and pomegranate together, but that is a lot easier than like trying to graft the things together Hit the pomegranate. Anna, we are one step closer to saving you, my friend. You're almost back. Don't worry. You know what? I'm gonna do something kind of bold in a second here too. Let me plant this pomegranate before I forget. Is that a fire? I just heard something. Yeah, I heard it start out here again. Are you serious? Maybe I should get rid of this fire pit because at this point it's starting to get a little bit. What are you doing? She just walked away. Anna, there is still fire. Yeah. Okay. You're gonna put that out now. <laughs> We're gonna extinguish this, thank you. And you're gonna replace both of these. Wow, okay, you are going to come plant this. Oh, it failed to germinate. Oh, oh, try and plant it out here then. I'll just move it inside. I think it should work like that. I don't think you're technically supposed to plant the trees in planters, but it should be fine inside. Now, before I was so rudely interrupted, I was going to talk about how I thought maybe I would age up the baby. I know that she was only born yesterday, but listen, it is her birthday today. And the sooner the better, because that way she will have more time with Pepper once she gets older. The longer we wait, the closer Pepper gets to dying. So we might as well get a move on. Okay, age up. Let's randomize her trait. Three, two, one. Oh, silly, that's a good one. And then I wanna pop into Cass and we'll dress her up. I'm really excited about this. Hi, little one. Oh my gosh, there's a blue headband on this hair swatch. Okay, I might have to. I mean, come on. Okay, what are our thoughts on this little outfit? Because I think that is adorable. Oh my Oh my gosh, I get to use this dress. I've been waiting for a chance to use this dress and this is perfect. Maybe I'll switch her hair a little bit for this outfit. Oh my God, that's so cute. Okay, sleepwear, I might also have her have no headband. I'm just thinking that if it were me, I would not wish to wear a headband 24 seven. I did a Peppa Pig stream the other day. Don't ask, don't worry about it. But I did a Peppa Pig stream the other day and I have a Peppa Pig costume, but it's like a, a pig headband and nose. And besties, after a while, the headband was really getting to me. <laughs> I guess I should clarify that it was like a, a kid's costume, so that might have been part of it, but like, I don't know, those things, they really do start to hurt after a little bit. Look at how cute these little swimsuits are. I am obsessed with this one. Oh, the black and white polka dot. This blue one is pretty fun too. I like that a lot. I think it looks good with her headband also. For her hot weather, I really liked that like overall set. Oh my gosh, that is so cute. And then cold weather, we could do like a little coat, some little jeans, maybe some little boots. I might do yellow actually to match her, her little turtleneck. Okay, she is adorable. I'm gonna put these Sims on the gallery for you if you wanna download them. Please, I beg you though, no one tell me what she looks like when she's older. <laughs> Nobody like age her up and send me a screenshot shot on Twitter or something. I don't want to be spoiled. You're welcome to do that if you want to. I just want to be surprised when she gets a little bit older. So hi little one. Can I see you up close? Oh, she does not look happy actually. I'm so I'm sorry. Oh, one more thing. I should buy a toddler potty. I kind of forgot about that. I feel like we should have everything else that she needs. Although maybe I will get like a little bookshelf or something just to have one other small thing in this room. Um, do I like that color? I can't tell. <laughs> 
maybe. And then I'll put a toddler potty in this bathroom. We do have a tub downstairs, so that's fine, but I'll put the toddler potty up here because that'll be easier for me to access with her. I probably will end up potty training her because I don't usually. I know that sounds bad, but sometimes I just <sighs> avoid it. Oh, she went and sat on the little chair. Oh, that's actually so cute. Oh, and Blake made that before they died. I think that was the last thing Blake ever made. No, I'm actually really sad about that. <laughs> That makes me feel really emotional. Okay, she wants to go play with the, the dolls now. Okay, sure, sure. We're getting a call. Oh, Penelope has been invited on a date. She's asleep, but that's fine. I'll go anyway. You invited me bowling? Oh, you've given me a terrible idea. You shouldn't have done this. You really shouldn't have done this because now I'm gonna get married in here. I'm dead serious. I'm putting a wedding arch in here and we're gonna get married in the bowling alley. I'm sorry, but there is simply nothing better than this. <laughs> there is no better place that we could get married than right here. Ew, no, it went to, ew. Oh, I like the moonlight bowling a lot better than this. Okay, well, here we are, I guess. I probably should have dressed them up, huh? Yeah, you know, <laughs> yeah, I, I probably should have dressed them up. Hang on. You know what? You look good in that blue dress. Maybe I'll let her wear that. Well, I guess that poses the question, what do your formal outfits look like? Oh, because you could wear that. Oh, I think that's fine. Okay, problem solved. This feels more wedding appropriate to me. <laughs> Well, wedding appropriate and moderately formal, more, more like it. But it's a bowling alley wedding. So like, it isn't like we had high expectations for this. Oh, here it comes, here it comes. Are you bowling right now? Are you serious? Are you kidding? Hey, read the room, buddy. No way, no way. <laughs> he fully wiped out as I'm exchanging. Oh, you too? Oh my God. The way that we're exchanging rings, kissing for the first time. <laughs> as spouses and you're just wiping out on the floor. Okay, I'm gonna have them move in together, I think. Mount Komorebi? Ooh, do we have a mansion? That is the real question. Oh my God, Gerald would have been so excited about this. Gerald was a few generations ago. He died, he got eaten by a cow plant, but his lifelong goal was to ski and he didn't really get to do that because you know, he got eaten by a cow plant, but <laughs> he would have loved to know that one of his descendants would eventually move into Mount Komorebi. Ooh, yeah, your face when you realize that you married into the bell family. She heard me talk about Gerald and she was like, I'm sorry, what happened? What did you say? I built this house. <laughs> this is one of the official lots, obviously, in, in um, Snowy Escape. I built this one. It was me. Who are you? And why are you in my house? Huh. But yeah, if you didn't know, they had some simmers do the official lots for Snowy Escape. It was the first time they ever did that. And they asked me to be a part of it. And this is one of the houses that I built. So, so I am not mad about them choosing to live here. It's pretty cool, actually. I think it's a good spot. I did want to get one of them pregnant, though. I know that's ridiculous, but we have to get a move on, though. I mean, it's the only way. Wow, would you look at that? Pregnant totally unexpected and, and totally normal and I didn't just cheat that in at all. Wow. No, that'll be good though. This'll be good. I'm glad that they're happy and they're gonna have their little setup and I did just make her pregnant with twins. I did it by accident and then I was like, eh, keep it. That's fine. So the family is growing. Also, they're marked as plate. Let me actually edit that really quickly. Yeah, let me think about this a bunch because now that I think about it, if they're gonna be out of my family, I do want to enable neighborhood stories. I think that, yeah, I think maybe you can die, you can have kids, you can have pets, you can change your jobs, you can retire, just don't move maybe? And then I'll do the same thing for the Lawrence. You can die. <laughs> just don't leave because I don't want to lose them. I'm going to be confused if they move to a different house so it's easier if they stay in the same place. You know, I might regret it, like setting it so they can die, but I'm I'm going to say it's fine for now. If we have some problems with that, like if everybody dies all at once or something, maybe we'll change it, but it, it might be kind of funny if they die. I'm sorry, that's wrong of me to say, but it's how I feel. Well, you know what? Today's been pretty good. We've got a baby. The family is great growing in, in many ways. We kicked out one of my family members, so I've got some more space if we want another baby. We're plotting a future divorce. I mean, what more could we need in our lives, you know? Anyway, I think with that, I'm probably going to end this part right here. Thank you so much for watching. I will link the playlist down below if you want to watch the rest of this series. It is a lot of fun. And with that, I will catch you all tomorrow. Bye, everybody. Should we have another kid next week and then get divorced the week after that? Does that seem right? The way I'm planning this on a weekly basis is actually ridiculous. Yeah, let's let's uh, pencil in the divorce for two weeks from today. <laughs> that sounds great.